Omo Leri O I T V. As wherever you are watching, you are tuning to Omo Ileri, uh, oh, ITV Channel 23, and I have my primate here, yeah, the primate of the African Church, His Eminence Julius Olaika Osayede Abe JP, uh, for the landmark event of uh, Primate Emeritus, His Eminence Dr. Abraham Onodotu Olumuiwa Onodoga JP. Uh, celebrating 80 years uh, birthday today. Uh, sir, how do you feel about this wonderful event? Well, I feel grateful to God Almighty that um, I have the privilege of um, meeting this man in life as uh, a young priest then, by the grace of God, early in the 80s. And I thank God that he's still alive today celebrating his 80th birthday anniversary. It's a landmark event. It's a, it's, it's a memorable event because this man is a colossus and an icon. Okay, with me, I have the Archbishop Lagos Province and Bishop Lagos Melan Diocese and also is also the chairman of the planning committee. I have his grace, the most reverend Julius Oludo to Sir, I want to ask, how do you feel uh, about witnessing this wonderful event today? In fact, I'm so happy to be part of the event. So I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Thank I still continue to pray for the life of Baba. He will continue to live in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty God will uh, uphold him in whatever he or lay his hand upon in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, hey, me, I have the Archbishop uh, Abuja province, His Grace the Most Reverend Uluwa Kemi Ugumuiwa. Sir, how do you feel uh, to be part of this wonderful event today? I personally want to bless God because I count it a privilege to witness this very glorious occasion of the birthday of our patriarch, the His Eminence Dr. Abraham Olumuewa Onodotun Ononuga, who is literally I served under him first as a priest, later as a venerable bishop, by the time I became an archbishop, he had retired. So we thank God for a life that is um, worthy of emulation, which is living. And we believe that this occasion will also serve as an impetus to him doing more services to the Lord. We are still live at the African Church Bethlehem Cathedral for the celebration of an uh, octogenarian, uh, a grand um, patriarch and the exceptional vessel of the most high God. And I have right here with me, I have the Lord Bishop of the African Church, Lagos Central Diocese. I have the right Reverend Dr. Adekule Ilesomi Daudu right here. Sir, how do you feel uh, about witnessing this wonderful event today? Well, I feel related because uh, we've been praying for our primate, our patriarch, that God should uh, spare his life to witness today. I will thank God that uh, he's alive. Listeners, I have right here with me, I have the right Reverend Dr. So Jeremiah Tunji Okonola, uh, known as Baba Ire Oburo from the African Church uh, Solution Grant. Baba, how do you feel uh, for witnessing, about witnessing this wonderful event today? 
Uh, thank you very much. I feel so excited. I feel so happy uh, because God has granted our Father, uh, is our Father, this privilege to to climb the eighth ladder, mm. uh, to fly to eighty uh, thousand meter mm. above sea level. Meters. Above sea level. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we we celebrate Jesus for for that. And uh, I feel excited because though Baba is a father to her, but is a personal, personal, personal person to me. It's a personal father to me in the sense that uh, he, he took me as his beloved son. And you, when you, the first day he, he saw me, he adopted me. As a son, and uh, he just says JT, JT, JT. Even if he's here now, the the only name he says JT, my only Baba Olioke, because uh, whatever I become today in the African Church, it is by the grace of God and by the opportunity given to me by Baba Onanoga. You know, God showed. Him. He showed me to him that when the church is clamoring for a maintenance ministry, the women's league, they, they came to him when he was a primate, that they, they too want to have a campground. The youth were clamoring for camping ministry. So, and the man has tried what he could, but I think God told him that uh, three years before he met me, that uh, whenever he met the man on that place, he will know. And when he saw me that day, after my administration in one of the solution nights, it's a privilege for me to, to minister. The administration day was given to the senior uh, minister, the venerables, but I was just a young uh, reverend then, so I was I was picked by my bishop in Ibanda then to come and preach. So after my preaching, Babas called me, and uh, since that day, since that day, since that day, he, he had taken me at some. You know the Baburoke, Baburoke, Baburoke people called me. It was Baba who who gave me that name. By the time we wanted to. Uh, uh, introduced me to people at Solution Camp. He said, Today we have Baba Urioke, Baba of this mountain, in this, in this place now. And he introduced me as Baba Urioke. May I have the provost of the African Church at Cathedral Better uh, Lagos? I have the Venerable Dr. Oluwa Shegun Oladosu right here. Sir, how do you feel about witnessing this remarkable event today? Well, glory be to God to have witnessed the celebration of our patriarch. Uh, is a wonderful thing. So I feel so happy. I am uh, overjoyed to have been part of the service today. For Baba Onanuga is a very good man and a father to many of us. At times when you don't want to venture into uh, an, uh, a thing, he has a way of encouraging you to even go there and you enjoy the whatever ventures you are going into. So I am very happy to be part of the service today. Awesome listeners, uh, we are still here uh, for this wonderful event, and I have right here with me. I have brother Tululola or Nonoga, uh, the son of uh, uh, our grand patriarch, an exceptional vessel of God. Sir, how do you feel today? I'm grateful. I am happy, and I feel quite excited to witness this day. You no, know, the celebrant is a man who has been a great source of inspiration and encouragement and he has been a pattern of how one loves the lord 
So I'm so happy that I'm part of those who are able to celebrate him today. I'm happy to be here physically. Yes, and I'm happy that he is being celebrated by those who he has spent most of his life with. are those things that you cherished most in the personality of Baba Ononoga? Papa Ononoga is a complete gentleman and is a man of his words. When he says a thing, he means it. He's not a pretender. He's very firm and very, very kind. Kind to a fault. Your problem is his problem. Whenever you go to him with a heavy heart, you are sure to return lighted. That means you become very light. You would have um, done a lot to really unburden you. So he's such a man that's very, very amiable. He's a um, very strong man, very loving and very caring. Hey Amen. What are those things that you cherished most about Baba? Ah, I cherish a lot. After all, if you would ruin the radio program, I said I say a lot. But now I want to tell you, Baba is different. Different. I, you know, I told you that when I was at Ife, Ile Ife, when Baba will be going to either Akure, Wundu, Ekiti. Baba will branch with me, sleep with me, enjoy with me before he continue his journey. Oh, he's so well. I pray that uh, we continue to get uh, a father like him. Sir, sir, what are those things that you cherish most uh, in the life of uh, Baba Ononoga? Baba Ononoga is a very highly disciplined man and is a very neat minister during his time as a, a minister in the african church he was very neat and people like us when we were young we look at him as a role model in fact before i joined the ministry he was one of those i was looking at and papa oyawoye the way they dress in fact they they, they brought a sort of dignity to the ministry of the clergy, that to the ecclesiastical order, they brought dignity. So when you see them, you will love being a minister. So he, they, he and others were those who motivated us, who inspired us into joining the ministry. So he was a decent man. He was also a very lettered person, uh, a disciplinarian. He never compromised throughout his time as a minister and even as a primate of the church. Uh, what are those things that you cherish most in the personality of Baba Ononoga? Uh, without mincing words, I will say above all is humility. Is humility. It's never a boss. It's a leader. A boss is someone that will continue to give order, reeling out orders, orders, orders for followers to you know uh, execute. But a leader will be part of what is uh, uh, given, the order or the instruction that is given. He will lead first. So, Papa showed example by first leading and for you to follow. That we find in him and uh, we are happy. We appreciate it so greatly and we are emulating his mentor. We are emulating his uh, lifestyle. You know, and I, I will tell you that uh, he's my mentor and uh, I'm trying as much as possible to be like him. Humility, 
when you have humility in this ministry, you, you have to, all. When God began to move a mountain, some people gather around and said, that place is not, it's too big for a young reverend like me, that they need a venerable. They went to him, he heard about it, and uh, he said, no problem, I will give, we are going to transfer a variable to that place. And one day, they don't general committee, when they are recommending a venerable, Baba said, I recommend this man. <laughs> and he made me a variable. And when people are saying, well, you are the one who said you want a variable, and now it's a variable. So, all the qualities, the beneficial qualities we have are from God. I would like to add that for him, he has learned over the years to be at peace with all men. He has also learned to listen to people without bias. He gives everybody an opportunity to prove themselves. So he doesn't listen to stories about others. So he gives each individual his own time. We do say his own day in court to prove himself. So and it is the what you prove that I will now judge you by that. Okay. I don't know what they've said about you, but the way you have related to me, this is what I know. I know and people over time to appreciate that about him because he gives everybody a chance to be who they are and he knows how to like mold them towards where they should go basically starting from where they are doesn't judge them across the board starts it starts from where they are Of the sermon, you made mention that um, Papa is the first uh, primate to attain the age of uh, 80 years. Yes, with the little research that I made, although I did it horridly, that is why I said in recent times, yes, I was unable to lay hands on the life history of most of the past primates. But in recent times, looking back in the last 20, 30 years, the primates that we have had so far is the only one that has attained the age of 80. I qualified it that in recent times. So 20, 25 years ago can be taken as recent times. No, so it's the one is the only one that I found to have reached eight. Others didn't get there. Papa is the only one as the primate of the church to be to clock it. Yes, it's a great achievement. If you listen to the sermon of the primate, when he was uh, preaching, he said that he will be the first primate to have ever lived up, up to eight years. You know, and that is a landmark. And uh, by the grace of God, he's going to exceed it. And I pray that as he is, he has uh, broken that uh, jinx, you know, he has uh, opened the door that uh, ministers of God, no matter the rank, will exceed the age of 80 on earth with good health in the name of Jesus. <laughs> What are the laudable achievements and positive changes that you will recall uh, during his tenure as the primates of the African church? I said a few while on the pulpit, but I can add to a lot of things that this man achieved. He's the one that took the African church to World Council of Churches. 
when he was a primate, he led the church to become a member of one council of churches. Apart from the fact that he was the one that started the Solution Night, that's a gathering that brought all members of the African church together under a roof to pray for our church and for the nation. And people were giving testimonies during these programs. And apart from that, he's a man that has very high sense of administration. He knows administration a lot. If people talk about us today that we are good in administration, we learnt it from someone. Is our teacher. Check this out. So, what are the laudable achievements and uh, positive changes uh, during his tenure that you would like to make reference to? Well, glory be to God. You know, during the time of Baba Onunuja, considering his theological background and understanding, he was able to really move this church forward, both academically, theologically, and that, you know, when you have a sound knowledge of something, you will be able to achieve better. So during his time, we were able to achieve better results even in the church. The clergy feel so happy and elated, and you can see the kind of knowledge that we develop as a result of uh, his uh, proficiency. And we thank God for the opportunity that uh, he gave us at the time. He opened doors of opportunity to many of us to explore and to develop. I said, he took me to Abuja. Uh, even I don't want to go to Abuja, but he said, I must go to really explore the opportunity of the place. And I went, and glory be to God, I am what I am today based on that encouragement. Will be your advice as a result of his leadership traits that you will put together to advise all other upcoming ministers? Papa Ononuga is um, a very tolerant person. He has contentment. He has contentment. There is nothing you can flash before him that will entice him to do what is wrong. He will tell you exactly how it is. He can never be bought with anything. And that's the problem he had when he was still in the saddle as the head of the church. You know, some people may like to bully him around with their money or whatever. He will tell you, go and sit down. This is church, and things ought to be done in the right way. So we'll tell you to your face what you need to hear. You have to behave normal. <laughs> let, me use, let me use today's language. Behave normal. <laughs> As he marches on as an octogenarian, I pray that the Lord increases his health, the Lord increases his strength, and the Lord make him to see more joy all the days of his life. Papa will not taste sorrow. He will be blessed more and more, and he will continue to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. So what are your wishes and prayers for him as he celebrates his uh, auto general age today? I pray that uh, one, he will live in good health and he will continue to see his children, children 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. What are your words of wishes and prayers for him in the course of this uh, landmark celebration? I wish him long life, firstly. I wish him long life. I wish him good health. Papa is comfortable. When you talk of money, he has money. He's from a wealthy family. When you talk of education, he's educated. When you talk of anything, he's well endowed. So all that we are wishing him now is good health and long life. Well, what are your words of uh, wishes and prayers for him as he's celebrating his 80th birthday today? Good health. That's my prayer for him. He deserves it. He's a, he's a man of integrity. He's a man that is not shaken. When you hear no shaking, that's our father. Every people shaked him. Mm. Mm. But they maintain that that integrity. He, 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 his life is full of contentment. Contentment. Honest contentment. I know he's right. He stood by his by his official right. And we never cross border. And that is why this month, well, we pray that uh, the Lord will help the church. He is worthy of emulation. I'm taking from his life. I'm taking some quality from his life uh, to stand by the truth. Even if there is gone, if at, 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 at gone point, you stand by the truth. You stand by what the Bible says and what the Constitution says. Because our Constitution is not different from what the Bible says. It's not different. This is a man of high principle, high integrity, contentment. You cannot lure him by anything. He stands on the truth. And he won. He won several battles. And I thank God for his life. I wish him good health. And I wish him joy. Amen. He will hand well. He will hand strong. Amen. He will never have a day of mourning. The rest of his years will be the best of his year. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The perfect redemption. The purchase of blood. As we round up this beautiful celebration of a great vessel of God, my darling husband, For his providence and for the gift of life. Which is God's greatest gift to humanity. What are your ways of uh, gratitude to God Almighty for the success of this uh, event and to all dignitaries, uh, important personalities, I and national officers of the African church home and abroad from far and near to celebrate this great man of God? Uh, my gratitude is to all the wonderful brothers and sisters who because of the love for God are honoring God in his life. Um, though some of them are present physically and we know some are absent but they contributed immensely towards the success of today and we do not take it for granted all their sacrifice of love all their labor of love may God Almighty who rewards those who give freely reward them abundantly by God's grace. The grandfather of our people, Pa Abraham William Sinononuka, played a significant role in the development of Christianity in Nigeria. He was the co-founder of the Children and Cerebral Church Movement. And it would be
Independent Cathedral, and on behalf of the management of the African Church, I have the unique honor to express our thanks and appreciation to every one of us who have come to celebrate the 80th anniversary of our paper. May your shadow never come back. And uh, as you depart from your various circles, may the Spirit of God abide in you. And uh, you will not have cause to be part of this important and important uh, uh, ceremony that we are put in place to honor uh, our dear Peter of the African Church. Once again, I thank you so much. Only today, the Lord of the African Church, Lakbapo. We pray Akua Mojuba, Akua Mojuba. Momo, we pray at him for just now. Or just a pray, we pray. Or just only. Or my little mag, we are at to Jadi. Ulua Shio. Eniyo. Or just kejila. Oshu Kenny. Or do twenty twenty four. Or just me like back me. Or my little. O ma ku ori re o Radio ta tin foju sona fun o n re o Eyin eniyan e tewo gba e tewo gba re ire ti de ayo ti de ibogun ti de alaafia ti de gbogbo awon radio toku ah won ma to leyin ni tori pe ara kan ni ojo kan ara kan ojo tutun ara tutun Omo ileri radio ko lafiwe Omo ileri radio radio 2.3 ko selebe egba be Olorun agbadura ai pe lai ayo mi fere ni eyan mo olorun e mo nko tutun nu mi ju fun gbogbo eyin te ngbo mi nle bayi the listeners at home that listen to me it is almost daily radio television. Almost daily radio two point three. Two fiato. We need to pay. Share the lady. Tell about the lady. The combi. Be losi. Onisha. Be losi kalaba. Be losi ujo. Be we biki biti balo. Ole o magbolo. It is our own dancing. We pay. To about what in get down. From uh, airline, bam. We get a disabled new. We get a love new. We get room new. Anywhere to go to the train here. We don't buy no more lady radio two point three. If we want to buy lady two more bar bar way, we can learn new. We man in bag bini. Bar bar go to farm or tower local one. Farm or tower two ngbe Nigeria ngbe mo. What the mama uncle he ruin it. Don't look. What the fin da go buy any more. Eniyo, lo ju wipe, bo bo iro yin, lo ri shiri shi, o on ton lo ni yo, e ma gbo, e ma gbo ni, e kon ni, le di o tu kon se re, e ma gbo ni, e ma gbo ni. Wherever you are, you just go to www.omoyiliri.com and you will just connect to Omoyiliri Radio 2.3 station. When you go there, when you when you click on www either in Chrome or Google or website, I mean, or browser, whatever, just click to www.omailady.com. Then you see that radio station, Radio 2.3. Then you just click on the listening here. Yeah. Listening here. Once you click that and you play, you are live already. You will enjoy yourself. You will enjoy, like my primate has said, Undiluted word of God, you enjoy hymns, 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 hymns. Particularly when you want to relax in the night, you want to sleep. You have sleepless nights, you cannot sleep. You are taking a, a sleeping pill. Don't worry, don't take it again. Go to my lady, uh, radio 2.3, then you will listen to hymns. And you don't know what, what's happening. 
before you listen to one or two hymns, then sleep sleep will come, and that will be the end of uh, you saying sleeping pills. Yes. So I support my primate and to endorse this on my lady radio two point three station. Please, Emma Bo, a bored you ye, a glossy canine, about a day w w dot com dot on my lady dot com. At the return of listening here, I can forward the way. But for what I buy at the Bobbeno, came on Goredo, you came on Bad Way, you see Garafoni. God bless you. Amo Arakuniwa, Timonje, Director of Moon, if you share you can give me a conti or long look, new party in here. Lady, I be seeing me more was silly being so. Oh, she could yap or see any again. But what if we pay, you know, if we mean more? Proverb eleven twenty four. Only a one call one won't fork cash alone for Sifu. Or now one call she know how or lie in the long jassy. Many penny party in the day, only of a tea after fun or my lady won't be on you want Chiraca. In your own, you know, no fare, no she to go up for one new bomb, he more at you ye, they be me pay only of a ye, if that did your jaw to me. Anyway, you to be any can it over fear, kung fu, we, Olo Marpa, that was fee, I your car. Any pay, if I your car, like your little Johnny. Anyway, a missing one, we pay only Moshe Shepherd, and it to be I your Isha Shepherd, and it to be pay at the Dolori Rivai. Who so don't mind that, you know, you to be on their food, you know, the mamma car. Anyway, can there be a meeting, Mosi? Anyway, you pay more moral support, financially, morally, especially for all the word of God. Anybody have a moral support and a full support for the youths. Anybody, so more work bad, we pay. See what you are, see what you, and more YouTube man on one I am more go a lot of all who are near. I do pay law alone for all your fiat and fanita nini or joni. Papa do law for if you law le Econi radio or more illiri two point three. I do pay law alone for Orinla Lati alone she nino aye Araponiwa. Papa do law at Monipa television station OITV. Ne ojo ni anfi omo ileri radio 2.3 lole. Agba dora ipe ane fi lole si tiku ane fi lole si taro. Olo ondo di shele yi fun ala koni wa ti bo gba anton ba on shise ato she juba ilo ni oru kwa jesu. Ati ba she wole anyo mo wa owa lo wa lono kode siye da to le yi pada. Anyo mo ile she radio yi no. Ni oru kwa jesu kuse da to ma yi pada. Ah, you more go go said that to my father. Oh, I come in a the honourable vice lady president, Lagos mainland house is the African Church, and Loruko long mutu go mo ba o yemi le ilu family one. Eh, Loro called Jesu, Amade BT, Akunulati De, Eini, Uyeti, Lay President, African Church, a long Tifun Tessi, Play our world studio in our journey, could they see a Datole Yipada, Nioru called Jesu. Once again, it's Uluto in Odesheye. I'm on here on set at Omo Ileri 2.3. Emma Gbadu, Emma Gbolo, Emma Ju, Emma Yo, Emma Wama Julo, Emma Wama Gbadu Lo, Emma Miliki, Emma Miliki, Emma Gbadu, Eshe Mutupe. Thank you. Omo Ileri Radio. Radio 2.3 Who's a lebe? Hey, baby. Oh, I 
Still be challenged when they do on my Larry TV The broken signal from all my Larry oh. International resources completely limited On my Larry TV, look at you to judge it Help me watch your open, every push up from brown So we broke a signal to lower it, she's a cheat They call our water to the beard On my Larry TV, Hillary Do this show me to Hillary Hillary, Media Company, Hillary, Engaging Company, Hillary, Our Lord, Hillary.